Hi lovelies, my name is Megan, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. I know that I said that every video was not going to be a haul, but I did some shopping so I thought I'd show you. Um, I've been shopping at Kmart, and I don't know what Kmart is like in other countries, but in Kmart, New Zealand and Australia, they have homeware, they have clothes, they have a whole bunch of stuff. It's a pretty cool department store and their stuff is very reasonably priced. Uh, so I went in and I've picked out some clothes. I think I've picked some of these clothes up over the last, say, month or so. Um, and also we went in and picked up some stuff for our house this week. Stuff that um, has been on my to get list for a really long time. And I just finally got around to it. So first up I got this pair of shorts. I really like them. They're very short. Um, but actually I don't mind that because I got them to wear around home when it's way too hot for my shorts that are longer length, my knee length ones. Um, and I sometimes wear them like, at the beach, like over my bathing suit, um, but they're not like, I'm going to go to the mall and walk around in these shorts for me because that's a little too short. Um, but they're just perfect for at home. Um, I find them super comfortable. I love that they have pockets. They're just really, really comfortable and perfect for this super hot weather. So one of the downsides of this is it's got an elasticated waist and it comes with like a waist tie thing. But you can't actually use it to tighten the pants at all. It's like purely stuck in here cosmetic a look to tie them up rather than just being elasticated waist, um, which is kind of a bummer. I wish you could adjust them, but I mean, they're fine, they're comfortable. Um, and if you're a little bit extra like me, you can go in and get the matching top. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it together like I am here, but oh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe that is a bit extra though. Um, I have worn this top a lot, usually with my black knee length shorts, which you've probably seen me wear, I don't know, like every day this summer, because they're really comfortable and I just basically switch out the tops. I really like the ruffle sleeve on this top. It's a really cool way to bring in that ruffle trend, but it's not over the top. It's cute. This is very comfortable and I really enjoy wearing it. I got both of these in a size 26, which is my usual size that came out. And I've lost my receipt, but the shorts were about $12 and the top, top was about $15, give or take. Um, I haven't been able to find links for these ones on the website, but I will link to similar ones that are available now, but you might be able to still find them in store. I also picked up at the same time, and yeah, I know I got a lot of striped things, uh, but I couldn't resist getting this maxi dress. Kmart's maxi dresses are awesome. They're inexpensive, they're comfortable, and I just really, really like them. I've had maybe like five or six now, and this I think this one is definitely my favorite. I love the fact that it's a stretch jersey for a start um, that makes it really really comfortable it's great to throw on going to or from the beach um, or just anytime really I've worn it quite a lot this summer um, I like that it has a v-neck at the front and the back and I got this in a size 26 which again my usual size with the Alexia brand and I think that one was about $22 one of those very important things that um, everyone needs, but, you know, we don't really talk about a lot, coat hangers. Look, I bought 30 of them. I have been buying this kind of coat hanger for ages. I think most of my coat hangers are this, these flocked hangers from Kmart. Um, I think I have, like, maybe 60, 70. I have a lot of them. A lot of coat hangers like this. I find that my clothes, because of what they're made of, they don't slide off as easily. Um, also, it's very slimline, so easier to fit more things in my closet, which is very helpful. Um, 
I also I think they break less than other coat hangers that I've had and uh, they support my clothes a lot better so I really like this style um, and these were a grand total of nine dollars you can buy similar ones from like the supermarket but they're heaps more expensive so would advise hitting up Kmart for those plus also they come in a box I think you can buy um, buy them in smaller bundles of maybe like 10 and I can't remember how much those cost but they didn't have any there today so I just had to go in for 30 I didn't really need that many but hey you can never have too many coat hangers right yeah. put that down there um, so one thing that has been on my to buy list for ages and ages is more towels so I've got this one really great towel I hate the color it's like a beigey brown but it is a massive towel it covers all of my body and is also quite long um, which I really like it means I can like thoroughly wrap myself up and dry myself off and I've had that towel for a really really long time and I couldn't remember where I got it from um, but I have recently seen one in that exact color at Kmart um, and except it was a small one and every time I go into Kmart I th search through all of their towels to try and find this magical giant towel I'm not such a massive fan of this color but it's better than the beigey brown um, and this is the Madison cotton mega towel it's one meter by 1.8 meters so plenty of room to wrap yourself up in or plenty of room for me to wrap myself up in um, and definitely a better option than the standard size bath towels that you can get from there um, it's not a super thick towel but it, these are really great towels and mine have lasted me such a long time like I'm pretty sure I owned them before I lived here so like at least 10 years so that's pretty decent so I got two of those and I also got some matching face cloths because I like to match I don't know um, these are just standard face cloths same color um, but they came in a pack of four um, a pack of four of these guys cost me four dollars so a dollar each and the towels were eight dollars each so i feel like for a giant towel that is sufficient for me to wrap myself in for eight dollars is flipping great guys i would definitely advise hitting up kmart if you're looking for a bigger size towel they do only have very very limited color options i think in that size style there's that beigey brown um the blue that i got a light blue and a white were all I could find I would really really love a gray one but still hasn't popped up so I'm not sure if they just don't make one or maybe they sell out really fast we picked up a couple of very unexciting things for the bathroom a toilet brush and a rubbish bin good times they're like matte black they were like um eight dollars each so that's a bargain this year I have really decided to focus on making my house a better space a more functional space a nicer space to be so i've been clearing out things that i don't need and replenishing things or replacing things or whatever as required um so the first room we're doing that in is the bathroom i would love to have a budget to actually do up our bathroom because it's not super functional it's got a really high bathtub but it's very narrow um but somehow it takes up a huge amount of space so ideally i'd love to get rid of our bath altogether which i know is a bit of sacrilege but it's not really all that functional um and put in a really decent shower um and change our cabinets and oh there's just so much i would do in there if i had the budget to do that unfortunately i don't so just changing things around in terms of storage and how things look is kind of what I'm going to work on instead. I'm going to start small. So that's why most of the stuff in my haul is bathroom related because that's where I'm focusing at the moment. Um, I'm still looking for some really good storage solutions for our under sink cabinet because instead of having shelving in there we have nothing. There's just the cabinet and it's open um, and for the last like eight years we've been 
kind of just piling stuff in there and then we moved to having it in like a box that we would pull out and grab stuff out of but it's not really very practical and I'd really like to put in shelves or some kind of drawer system or something that will make it functional until we can afford to actually do some work on there um, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find what I'm looking for so I guess the hunt continues. I picked up these Anko Plus printed cropped pants um, and you might be able to tell from looking at me they're not super cropped on me because I'm 5'4", like I'm definitely not tall. Um, and cropped pants are usually pretty long on me. So I can pull them up a little bit higher because they do have elasticated bits in the legs so that they will sit a little higher on my calf if I want to or I can wear them longer and they look like kind of ankle razor length. I really really like these. They're soft, they're comfortable, the fabric is really lightweight which is perfect for summer and they have pockets and a soft waistband and I honestly cannot rave about these enough. They cost $17. The fabric is like a light stretch, I would say. Um, because they are lightweight, I've had a lot of people asking me after they saw these on my Instagram stories, are they see-through? No, they're not. I haven't had a problem with that. But if you're wearing like, I don't know, bright pink underwear, then maybe you'd be able to see those. I don't really put that to the test though because I don't generally wear bright coloured underwear for that reason because sometimes you can see it under clothing. These go with basically everything in my wardrobe because they're a black and white print um, which is perfect and I've already gotten heaps of wear out of these and I know I'm going to get heaps, heaps more. The last thing I picked up also from the Anchor range was a duvet cover. It's a bit hard to see what it looks like in that photo. And let's see if it's easier for me to... Aha! Take this out. Yes. So it's got a spot print kind of on one side and then stripes on the other. I really really like this and Doug and I actually agreed on it which was a nice change because finding a duvet cover that both of us agree on is really hard. Um, it cost $22 I'm really stoked with it and cannot wait to put it on my bed. Um, my battery's flashing so I guess it's time to wrap things up. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know what your fave thing is that I picked up at Kmart. Let me know if you've got any bargains from Kmart lately. And let me know if there's anywhere else you'd like me to shop at and show you what I got. Until next time, have a great week. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment and all that jazz. Thanks for watching. Bye lovelies.